Hey guys, Cubing Forever here, and today I'm going to be showing you my end of 2021 cube collection. So I've been cubing for almost three years now, and this collection has a little over 100 puzzles. So let's just get started with 2x2s. So first I have this broken Rubik's brand that I have no idea how I got. Here's a sticker mod made out of my very first 2x2 in Isshin that is missing two stickers, and it sounds awful. Here we have my first Speed 2x2, the Chi GDS, and this was actually the first cube I ever competed with, um, but yeah, the quality's not great. I have two little magics, the Stickered and the Stickerless. Uh, so the Stickered one was my main for a while, but now it's kind of broken, and the Stickerless one uh, I got recently by accident, and it sucks. I have this Cyclone Boys Budget 2x2, um, and it's kind of cool because it has files on it, which you don't often see on cubes these days, uh, but yeah, this cube also isn't anything incredible. Moving on to magnetic 2x2s, we have a Zupo V2M, which is um, my first magnetic 2x2, and I actually had another one, but my friend uh, accidentally stole it at a competition, so Lucas, if you're watching this, I want it back, please. I have a Diane Tangyong version 1. Gan 251N, which was my main for a really long time, um, and got my first sub 4 average in competition with this cube, I believe. This is the X-Man Flare 2x2, which is special because it's the first 2x2 ever to include adjustable magnets. Here we have a Chi EMS, which is a pretty good cube, not like world class level, in my opinion, but a lot of people really like it, and it's super cheap, so I could highly, highly recommend this cube to anyone. I have a YJMGC version 1, which is my current backup main. And finally, the Waypo WRM, which is my current main. Now I'm going to move on to 3x3s. I have two dollar store cubes, both of them are broken. This one was my first ever cube, and this one I got, like, ah. Uh, this one I got a little while back, just from my local supermarket, and the center pin broke, so the white layer just always falls off. I have an old, original 80s cube. It's not like a Rubik's really brand, it's a weird like knockoff, and it has the wrong color scheme. I also have one of the quote-unquote newer Rubik's brands, which turns like, all right for a Rubik's brand, but just pretty bad in general. I have a Darcing 3x3, which was my second ever cube and my only 3x3 that I have in white. Here are all of my budget cubes. I have a Chi Warrior W, which is the first 3x3 I ever competed with and was my main for quite some time. I have a YJ Guanlong version 3, which I re-stickered for some reason. It's got some interesting shades. A Yushin Little Magic version 1, which was my OH main for a while and the Chi Transparent Cube, which has pink and it looks cool, but color recognition is a little bit hard. I have a Moyu Along version 2, which I used to learn blind edges on. It's not bad, but nothing special. I have a 54mm Guhong version 3, which is alright at best. <laughs> and for the last of the non-magnetic cubes, we have a Volk 3M. Yeah, that's about it. I have a Chi Thunderclap version 3, which I think is a very, very good budget cube. The Dian Cheng Magnetic version 1, which is actually an okay cube, but the center cap design is really weird. Like, what the heck were they going for here? An MF3 RS 3M. Uh, which I erroneously thought last year was an RS2M, but I have since been corrected. I have a WRM and a WRM 2021. The WRM is pretty good, the 2021 is not. And the WRM is my current 3 blind main. Here are my GAN 3x3s. The GAN RS, which sucks, don't get it. The GAN 356M, which was my main for a really, really long time back in the day. I said back in the day it was last year. A 356 RSM, which 
is pretty good. And my Dan 11 M Pro. And finally, my current 3x3 and OH main, the X-Man Tornado V2. I really, really like this cube. It's so fun. Now on to 4x4s. I have my first 4x4, a Pillow V cube, which sucks. It's so terrible. Please, for the love of God, don't buy this. The Chi Chi Wan, which also sucks. Don't get this either. Just no. Thunderclap and the Thunderclap Mini, both of these were my mains at one point. My first magnetic 4x4, the Yushin Little Magic M. My current backup main and 4 blind main, the YJ MGC. And finally the X-Man Ambition, which I just got for Christmas, and it is my current main. 5x5s. I have a YJ Guantron, which is like 13 bucks and really bad. A Chi Chi Jun, which is also like 13 bucks, and you can tell the Chi MS, which I think is the cheapest 5x5 that could be used at the world class levels. Like, this is really good. And finally, the YJ MGC, which is my main. 6x6s! I have two little magics. One of them is non magnetic, one of them is magnetic. And the non magnetic is missing a center. And two MGCs. This one I lost an internal piece for, and it was my first one. And this one is my newer one, which is a lot better. This one is my main, and this one is my backup. I have three 7x7s. This random, whatever the Chi budget 7x7 was called. And it's terrible and missing a cap. What is getting caught? My magnetic YJ Yufu which is actually really good and it's like under $30 so if you're getting into 7x7 get this but if you can spend a bit more get the YJMGC it is my current main and it is amazing and to finish off the end by ends we have my Maylong 9x9 which is like not that big I solve it maybe like three times a year and it's missing a white center cap now we've finished with all my end by ends, so we're going to move on to the side events, starting with Pyraminxes. I have a Mofang Jiaoshi Pyraminx, I think that's what it is. Either way, it's terrible. The Chi Chi Cheng Pyraminx, which is actually alright. The X Men Bell V1 and V2. The V1 is my current backup main, and my current main, the Shengxiao Mr. M. I really, really like this cube. So the most important event of all, Scube. We have the original Chi Budget Scube, whatever it was called, uh, and it's super bad and super slow. My X-Man Wingy Scube, which is what got me into Scube. Mine isn't great, it's kind of dead. Nomoyu Magnetic Skew, which is pretty alright, I guess. Nomoyu Aoyang Skew, which is really nice. And my main, Dan Skew Enhanced. I love, love, love this cube. Square 1, Square 2, Square 3, Square 4, Square 5. I have a YJ Guanlong square one, which I decided to re-sticker with some funky colors. A Chi version one. Uh, it's all right, but this edge is kind of broken. The Yushin Little Magic, non-magnetic. The Volt V2, which was my main for quite a while. But it's not very good anymore. And finally, my current main, the YJ MGC. It's amazing. I have a grand total of three Mega Minxes. The Yushin Little Magic Mega Minx, which is pretty bad and also ginormous. The Gan Mega Minx, which was my main for a while and has the very scratched cap. And my main, the Diane Mega Minx V2M. I really like this Mega Minx. 
It's actually making me get into Mega Minx a bit more, which is, you know, good. The clock, I have two Ling Hours. The one of them's full of sand. The other one, I magnetize myself, and the magnets have kind of dislodged by now. And literally the day I finished magnetizing this, they came out with the Sheng Xiao magnetic, and I was like, are you kidding me? Why did I do that? Oh, and of course I have a Qi, which is my main. Now onto non-WCA. I have a 2x2 mirror blocks. A Fisher cube and a windmill cube. I have a gear cube and a gear ball. These two are really fun. The Qi Yi Ivy cube and Qi Yi Dino cube. The Rubik's Void cube. The Sheng Shao Mirror cube. A Master Morphix, but I have no idea what brand it is. The Methods Checkered 4x4, which is really fun to solve. These two conjoined East Sheen 2x2s, which I really like because you can do this. Weird off-brand twisty scube, I don't really like it. A Pyramorphinx and a Pyraminx Duo. This one is really easy, this one is not. A 1x2x2, which is missing a cap. A 1x2x3. A 1x3x3. A 2x2x3. And a 2x2x4 that has the wrong colour scheme. I have the Moyu Kibi Minx. Two spherical puzzles, the YJ rainbow thing where you have to like push the balls in and out to solve it, it's super easy. And the Yeet Ball, which is still the greatest name known to man. I have a Mephits Mini Scube Ultimate, which is the only puzzle in my collection that I didn't know how to solve last year, and I figured out how to solve it. I didn't watch a tutorial, are you proud of me? Probably not. Alright, I found the Mother Cube, it was under my bed, and it scrambled for some reason. I have all these mini puzzles that I've either built or received as gifts. I have two 1x1s, this one's made out of a dice, this one is made out of clay. A 1x1x2, very poorly made out of clay. And two mini 2x2s that I've gotten as gifts from family or family friends. Oh my god, I've been filming for an hour and a half. What? And to finish off my collection for this year, we have my force cubes. Alright everyone, so that's just about going to wrap up my end of 2021 cube collection. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm quite proud of how my collection has grown since last year. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I have about five hours of editing to do.